So if you want some and you want to see what it feels like to have multiple orgasms and, and like just be with a guy because you just animalistically just want to be with him, there's an attraction, then have that experience. Um, I can only share with you what my truth is, but my truth is that God has never made a mistake. There's no moment where God stops and says, well, because you're experiencing so much pleasure, I'm no longer going to love you because it's not because there's these white dudes who I sent to, to tell you called the Catholic Church that you should be and nothing against those of you who are Catholic, but this is it's some dudes who made up some rules about how you should live your life. Yeah. White dudes said that you shouldn't do anything until you get married, right? And you should do it like this. To me, God doesn't go, well, if you don't listen to the white dudes, I'm not gonna love you. Yeah, they lived a long time ago. They're more important than you because they were born in 19 or 17, 16 or whatever. And if you, because you were born in 1994, this life is more important than yours. You guys following? Just think about the ridiculous logic of that. What we say and what we think is, oh, because Gandhi was born then and he did the thing and he's in history books, somehow Gandhi is more worthy than me. Because the Catholic Church made up this thing, these guys got together and said, oh, these women are too powerful. Let's burn the witches, let's do the thing, whatever we do. Now we say, oh, yeah, let's just listen to them. That is ridiculous on every level. And it's so insidious and hides inside of our lives, which is what this whole thing is about. Taking your power back, ownership. Whatever you want to do with the life that you have, yours is just as valuable as Gandhi's and Mother Teresa's and anybody else's. And so, you know, my idea is go have some fun. <laughs>